up, guys? Welcome back to Rob Squad Reactions with your boy Jay. And your girl Amber. We're back today with another amazing video suggestion by you guys, our amazing subscribers. But if you are new to the channel, hey, make sure you stick around. And if you like our vibe, hey, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Come join the RSR family and hit that post notification bell because we drop videos every single day. Every single day, guys. And if you hit that bell, you'll get alerts. And I promise you, promise you, promise you. You do not want to miss a video, so go ahead, smash the subscribe button and post the notification bell. But I'm super excited of who we're reacting to today because it has been a long, long time. And I think, I'm pretty sure I reacted to these uh, these guys before Amber was really even on the show. So I don't think you know who they are. So go ahead and drop it on them. Tell us who we got. The Righteous Brothers, and the song is Unchained Melody. The Righteous Brothers. I want to say it was... It was like the first month, maybe the first couple of weeks when I reacted to um, a song. I can't I can't remember. It's been so long what the song was. Yeah, well, I looked it up it's to see if you listened to it before uh, and you listened to You've Lost That Loving Feeling. You've Lost Feeling. That Loving Feeling. So it's been a long time. But I'm excited to get back to them today because, honestly, I forgot what their sound is and what they sound like. So this I is, don't know what it was yeah, to be So in. it'll almost be brand new to both of us again. But let's go ahead and get into it. The Righteous Brothers and Unchained Melody is the song. Let's get it. 1965. Hey! Oh, my love. My love. I've hungered for your touch. Alone. carrying those notes in and out like i don't know what i mean obviously it's 1965 he gives me like barry vibes does does he not give you barry gibb vibes yeah but what i'm focused on is the fact that he's making me feel so, like i'm getting lost right now i'm kind of just yes. getting lost in the sound and getting lost in the music and it's absolutely beautiful. My one question is, why were the microphones so tiny back then? They tiny, they were tiny, tiny. And remember, in a couple of the Tom Jones ones, they were they, they were, were like this small. big. But this is gorgeous. But like, I love. I got excited when I saw 1965. I love. Because I, yeah, I, I, lo I love the this 60s stuff. Sound. Like I, yeah, I'll say it's it's the sound. Like the 60s just have like a distinctive sound that I, that we absolutely love. And we were just talking about. We reacted to a crooner yesterday. Would this be considered a crooner? I, I don't know. I don't know if it's a crooner or if this is just more so along the lines of what the 60s sounded like, but it was I'm so, kind of getting obsessed with the 60s. It, it, I feel like it was so smooth yes, in the and 60s. and everything was just so, like, the Absolutely songs were so sweet it. and genuine. Lonely rivers flow to the sea to the open arms of the sea yeah. Lonely riverside Wait for me, wait for me I'll be coming home Wait for me Whoa. Time. 
Righteous Brothers. Well, I only saw one guy. Yeah, but I only saw one, so I was about to say this, the the clarity of his voice in, you know, I want to say the flexibility or the range. I was going to say the versatility. The versatility, that, 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 that's a better word. No, the way he was going in and out and the way he was carrying on those tunes. And you can hit those, those high notes along with carrying mm. out that smooth, beautiful tone the whole song. Be able to just hit those high notes whenever he wanted to. Oh, oh my goodness! My Absolutely beautiful. Goodness. And then to get in the song, you know, it seemed like, like he was—he was like kind of serenading the girl. He was, you know, confessing his love for the girl. And then, you know, towards the very end, you know, he was saying, "Time, you know, are you gonna wait for me?" You know, I don't know if he was talking about maybe like he's out on the road or what the situation was. But then he was in the end, like I said, he was just pretty much asking her, "Is, is she gonna wait for him?" You know, because you know he loves her so. I kind of got lost in the music and didn't pay attention to the lyrics that mm-hmm. much just because his voice was so beautiful and the sound was so mm-hmm. beautiful. And then this song in particular, along with a lot of the love songs you hear in the 60s, it's just, though, for some reason, the 60s just, when I hear these type of songs, it's like dancing in the kitchen with the one you love most. Just like right. those simple mm-hmm. moments. I don't know. There's something mm-hmm. about it, and, and I absolutely love and, it. And I may be completely wrong on, you know, the meaning, so drop down a comment and say, we're all about and correct me if I'm wrong. Today, so guys. drop down a comment let us know exactly what the song was about. But, you know... Back to that era, I, I, I there's something about it. It's just so special, so so good. It's, like, the, like, it's the '60s. To me, the music was so genuine and just so. It was to me. It, it was about their voices. <sighs> it was about the the talent they had, the voice that they, the, the sound that they could produce. It was beautiful, absolutely amazing. So thank you guys so much. But again. This is going to be the end of the video. If you're new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Hit the post notification bell. And as we always send you guys off with, we love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. You are blessed. And for you new ones, you have a goal every single day. Babe, remind them of that goal. Make somebody smile. Make somebody smile. And we'll see you guys later.